awareness. There was no awareness. It was quiet. The employees and volunteers of the Dignity Program, which help women get off the street, wanted to raise awareness in the community by putting on a haunted house type experience to show what really happens to women and children who are victims of sex trafficking. It was one of those things where it was a silent issue, it was a silent killer, where you know the women were coming into the house and no one really was sure what happened before that. Very experiential for the crowd to go through to, to try to get as close as an idea of what happens in the life without them physically being present in it. What? I'm tired. I'm hungry. You got, the, just, you got no. this game all to a No, my feet You're tired? Are... I don't care nothing about you being no. tired. No, the only I thing just... I care about is no. you getting my money. Well, Put I'm it in my pocket. Only thing I want you to get out there and get my money. Get my money now. I'm a survivor, and so for those of us who have lived that lifestyle, this is a very real experience, and it has shed light on a lot of the issues. Um, it will show that most of these women are not wanting to be out there. They don't want to be in this lifestyle, and hopefully we'll be able to shed light on this very dark secret. Shake it. Come on, come on. You liking that cage? You guys liking that cage? That's going to be your home. There was a case recently in which a 15-year-old girl was abducted, abused, and forced to live in a dog cage. No one's coming for you. This your house. This your house. You ain't finna leave. You finna get your I'm a formerly prostitute woman, and I'm a volunteer here at Immersion. I'm also part of the Dignity House, and I think this is a great opportunity to inform the public about what these girls go through. I think it's really eye-opening, and I'm glad that people show up. Yes, it's very, very realistic. Everything, I think they've just nailed it on everything. It really reminded me of how um, media desensitizes us to uh, the issue and just how like, people view sex as uh, love. And, you know, the first room where they showed a lot of songs that we listened to on the radio, that really opened my eyes up a lot. Hey, you looking for a date? Get in the car! Prostitution is based upon the law of supply and demand. The thinking is, women won't stop selling sex until men stop buying. As more customers are requesting younger prostitutes, the more predator pimps are recruiting and coercing younger girls to meet the demand. I just kind of feel like, I felt this like overwhelming weight when I was watching, you know, like of helplessness. I didn't realize how young the girls are starting, like 13 is a really young age and I didn't realize that they were um, being solicited at that young. I thought it was extremely powerful and very moving. I got real emotional when I saw them um, because realizing what they really have been through, you know, and that some women don't survive it on how young they start. and. It was, uh, it was really, you know, really eye-opening. It showed me a lot of new stuff that I didn't know how girls get into prostitution. And how they, how they get sucked into this and how, you know, what happens is just this big downward spiral. Pimps are out there at middle schools, like in our community, not just out to seedy areas, but they're in, you know, middle class. Girls are getting sold into this sort of lifestyle. Well, it was, it was, it was horrible to go through the experience, but it definitely made you think. It affects everyone in all walks of life, whether we want to believe that or not. And I'm going to go to bed tonight aware that there are hundreds of girls out on the street tonight, and this is their life. In an attempt to raise awareness around the world on the issue of sex trafficking, the staff of the Immersion Experience hope to take it on the road and do a national tour by summer of 2012. In Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Sadie Such, reporting for Grassroots News.